computer is more is, difficult. Oh, Garrett. The teacher is here, right? Yes, the teacher is here. It's preparing. Hey, good evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Very good nice, evening. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Very good. Good, good evening, uh, Louis. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How was uh, how was work today? Today is was very hard. Teacher, why? Why was it very hard? Because um, I get up at five, more or less, o'clock in the morning, and two cows are sick. Um, cows are sick. Cow, cow are sick. Sick, sick. Yes, sick. Oh, because, okay. Uh, want um, break your Cow, cow, mm -hmm. cow. Um, I I called to the veterinarian because uh, you called the vet. The vet, yes, I called the vet because I uh, need a surgery because uh, the the cow. The cow are a uh, rajado, rajado. Hey guys, good the evening. Front. Good evening. Uh, what? Good in, evening. In, what? In two, 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 two hours ago, um, the the cow are fine. Are fine. No, the the cows are fine. Yes. Yes. All right. All next right. to next to surgery, of course. Right, right, of course. Yes. After the surgery. After the surgery. Uh -huh. Yes. All but, right. Okay. That is well, great. And the weather is very hot here in Chalate, in Zacualpa. I near 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 to. Uh, Suchitlan Lake. Right. Uh, it's very, very hot today. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, it's hot, man. Jesus Christ. Do you yes. know if we're gonna have your, yeah. do you know uh, if we're gonna have any rain yeah. soon? Yes. Mm, do we know? No. Do we have any forecast you know. for rain? No. no. All right. Okay, very good, very good. All right, guys. Welcome, guys. Welcome. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you, Patricia, Sandra, Luis, Yancy. Thank you. Carlos, Thank Jose, you. And Thank Nicole, you. and Evelyn. Welcome, and thank you so much for being early. All right. So today, guys, we're going we're gonna, to uh, we're gonna have uh, the platform not. So we're going to have, guys, a um, we're gonna practice, right? Tag questions. All right, so I got some exercise for you. So, uh, so yes, guys. Okay. Hey, did you finish uh, section number three? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 All right. Yes, teacher. All right. All right. All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So let's get started then. Okay. All right, so uh, time to practice, guys. By the way, guys, um, there is something in the platform, right, which is, you know, negative sentences to give opinions, right? So we're going to go over that too, okay? And I have a little game for you guys, okay? So um, there you go. Let's do this, okay? All right, guys. So anyways... Oh, so, negative state. All right, guys. So, 
So let's continue with uh, TAC questions, okay? So let's review what we saw yesterday, guys. What is a TAC question? How do you compose a TAC question? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a, a subject plus auxiliary, I think. All right, it's come. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but remember that we have a tag question for every single tense that we have, right? So how do you compose it? Um, we, we write first on a statement and then uh, we write a, a small question at the end. Uh, in, if we begin the statement in affirmative, we, we make the question the small question in negative. Very good. Not very good. only. only can, can, can you can you give me one minute? Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. I need to tend something. Hold on. <clears throat> That's right, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. My name is Sandra. English Thank corporativo. You. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. What what happened? <laughs> what happened? All right. Anyways, guys, um, let's do something, guys, because somebody's knocking on my door right now and I need to get that. Okay. Do my favor. Okay. Um, we're going to see you guys negative tag questions right now. Okay. I want you guys to write down in your notebook a negative sentence followed by a tag question. And also, I want you to write down, guys, to try to write down an imperative and a tag question for the imperative. Right. Let's see what we got. Even if, it, if, if there is a mistake, guys. Don't worry, okay? So let's let's go, guys. Okay. I'll be right back. Give me one minute. Okay. So three okay. three three statement, guys. Three three negative statements and an imperative. Okay. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go.
All right, guys and girls, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. So I have four examples in the chat. Okay, so let's hear, guys. I want to hear two, guys. I want to hear one negative, and I want to hear the, the the imperative one, okay? So, Patricia, what do you got? Oh. <clears throat> okay, in my case, I, I take in the hospital, life is stressful, doesn't it? All right. Okay. Very good. All right. I'm going to write that down. So you said in the, right, in the hospital, right, life is stressful. I'm using a comma because you should, you should have said life is stressful in the hospital, right? Uh-huh. Stressful, right? But it's okay. Stressful with two S's, guys, with one. I think it's with two, right? And then you said doesn't, doesn't it, right? Doesn't. Right. Remember that I need, first of all, I needed the negative sentence, okay? The negative, right? The negative statement. And then, so yesterday we practiced this, right? We practiced positive statements and negative that questions, right? But anyways, let's analyze this. Did uh, you say imperative, mister? Yes. Also, so I said, I said, right? Three examples in negative, right? Or did I ask for two? But but then one imperative, right? Right, one imperative, all right? So, but let's take a look at this example, okay? In this, in the hospital, life is stressful, doesn't it? What is the what is the what is the auxiliary here? Uh, it should be isn't. Isn't it right? Very good, uh... isn't it? Very good, okay. All right, yeah. and also, right, this should have been negative, but that's okay, right? Do you have the imperative, Patricia? No, teacher, you, you, yesterday you said that. I will um, teach you today, right? No, you said that when the sentence. Don't was, use, don't use a uh, question, question. We you don't say, have to use a tag question. And I don't, I don't know <gasps> how to say it. How, how to make a, a, a question with a, a order. All right, it's okay. All right. For Very example, good. Mr. Command, do not run in, in the stand, in the stand. Okay. But do not run in what? In the stand. In the stand, like this? Stands, yes, letter S, the finish. Do not run in the stands. Yes. Uh huh. And I don't know that a question. Okay. All right. That's okay. I told you, right? It's okay if you don't know, right? Very good. Okay. So uh, let's see, Patricia. Well, you gave me the examples, right? Hey, teacher. My son gave gave the dog a shower, doesn't he? Hey. Now that is all right. Very good. There's something that we need to talk about there, right? Yes. Uh, whoever said me, teacher, go ahead. Okay. Uh, you have studied all week, haven't you? You have studied all week, haven't you? Okay. You haven't or you have? Haven't you. Okay, but remember, I want, so yesterday we practiced, uh, we practiced uh, positive, uh -huh. right? we practiced positive sentences and negative tag questions, right? Now, okay, today, today could be, could be, uh, you haven't studied all week, have you? You haven't studied all week, have you? Very good. You? That would be, uh, yeah. Okay. That would be, that would be it, okay? Okay. All right. All right, very good. Me too, me too, right? So, uh, <laughs> so yes. All right. So, do my favor, guys. Send me the examples, guys, that you have in your notebook here. Just one, guys, just one, right? Before we okay. see the party, because I need to make oh, some corrections, okay? okay? Uh, yes, you do not run in the stands, okay? My roses are beautiful, aren't they? Yes, my roses are beautiful. My rose is beautiful. Isn't she, right? Or isn't it? Very good. All right, very good, very good. Tomorrow, right, will not have classes, will we? Very good, that is correct. Roberto, Sandra, Fabiola won't receive any reimbursement will she all right that is correct the players 
don't find the ball, do they? Okay, very good, very good, very good. All right, pupusas are delicious in El Salvador. They are really good, aren't they? Aren't they, right? Very good, good job, I like that. She hasn't been eating healthy, has she? Very good. All right, guys, so good job, good job, okay? If you haven't finished, guys, please do so. All right, so guys, we need to move on because we don't have, I have another topic to teach you, which is, which is uh, imperatives, okay? So let's move on with this, you know, right now, okay? Keep sending me your examples, okay? Because I need to understand something here, okay? So guys, yesterday we said that, Rick, guys, for a positive, that question, right? Hey, um, um, I ate, no, you know what? Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne, like always ate an apple yesterday, right? Now, this is a positive that question, right? Uh, a positive sentence, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, very good, okay? So when we have a positive mm -hmm. sentence, the that question must be negative, okay? So remember, guys, you have to use the what? tense, that tense, right? The auxiliary for the tense that you are talking about. In this case, guys, what is this tense? Did, didn't, didn't. Did, did, right? Cheyenne ate an apple. Didn't, didn't he, he, right? He. Didn't, didn't he, right? Didn't he. Didn't. Now, okay, so the tag question is negative, okay? But remember, you have to use the auxiliary, guys, for the tense that you're talking about. In this case, we're talking about simple past. And uh, the auxiliary for simple past is? What is it? Auxiliary for simple past? Did. Did. Did, okay? Did. So, guys, you cannot say, Chan ate an apple yesterday. Dude, uh, uh, doesn't That's he, key. right? No, you need to use... Whatever tense you need to identify the tense first, okay? So if you put it into steps, guys, write this down, okay? First of all, right? Identify the tense, okay? Second step, guys. What would be the second step, right? Okay. okay identify if you know if the auxiliary. Uh, no, if the the yes. the statement, right? It's positive. Positive, it's positive or, or negative. 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 Okay, very good. Yeah. All right. And the third step would be, right, if positive, Two. use a tag question. Question. Uh, use a, mm -hmm. a negative, right? A negative. 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 Tag question, right? So it, identify the tense, right? If it, positive, use a negative tag question using the auxiliary, the auxiliary from that tense, okay? And these are the steps, okay? So I'm gonna do negatives right now, guys, okay? So first step, identify the tense, right? So let's start with, uh, I have never, you know what, no. She has never met me. All right, what tense is this? First of all, first step is to identify the tense, right? What tense is this? Present perfect. It's negative. All right. Um, present perfect. perfect. It's present perfect, Hadn't. right? Hadn't. No. Uh, haven't. Yeah. Hasn't. 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 Very Hasn't. good, okay. Hasn't she? Right. Very good. So, guys, guys, okay. Has she? Has she? All right, very good, very good, okay. Remember, guys, please mute yourself. Once you stop participating, please mute yourself, please, okay? All right. So, anyways, so that is correct, right? She has never met me, right? Has she? Hey, David, why are you using has she instead of hasn't she? Why, guys? Because, because never is negative. Exactly, guys. Never works as not, okay? Okay, very good job. Okay, it is the same okay. as saying not, right? But it's an adverb of frequency. Okay, anyways, all right. So we're following the second step, right? What tense is that? Okay, so that is present perfect. Identify if the statement is positive or negative. It is uh, negative. So the tag question, if it is positive, use a negative tag question using the auxiliary from the tense, right? If it is negative, and that's step number four, guys, that I forgot, right? Step number four would be, right? If negative right use a positive tag all right very good 
Um, what about these guys? Um, I, um, he would, he wouldn't do that. Go ahead, follow the steps there. He wouldn't do that. Will he? Will he? Will he? Would, guys, would. Would, would he? Would he? Would he? Right? Will he? He wouldn't do that, would he, right? Take a look at this, right? We can use model verbs, right? Uh, oh, mm, Superman can fly. What about can, this? Can't he? Can he? Can. No. Can't can, 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 can. can. Right? No. Can, ah, can fly. Yes. Ah, can, can fly. If you say Superman. Can't ah, okay. Ah, can't. Yes. Can. Oh my god. He might can be a nice guy. What would be the tag here? Can he? Can he, right? Can, can he? Yes. Very good. Can exactly, he? right? Very yes. good. Uh one in positive in, in the future, guys. Tell me one in the future. All right, let's do something from all right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna um Turn this up a little bit, okay? Think about an opinion. <laughs> give give me an opinion, right? Actually, let's make this more fun, okay? Give me an give an opinion about me. An opinion, right? Because this is what the platform is talking about, right? Give me an opinion in negative, and I mean in negative, in a negative tense, right? Not a negative opinion unless you want to, right? <laughs> <laughs> a negative statement, all right? Your opinion needs to be in a negative statement. For example, right? I could say. Oh, the teacher won't be working tomorrow. The teacher, right, won't be working tomorrow. All right, very good. And the tag question would be? Will, will he? Will he, very good job, right? Give me, give me another <laughs> opinion. Now, if we don't be... start, sorry. I can the say, right? The teacher isn't a romantic boy. All right, very good. The teacher isn't a romantic boy. Thank you for calling me boy. Uh, oh. <laughs> all right. So, what, what would be the what would be the tag question here? The the tag, the tag action. Teacher is isn't he? a romantic. Is he? Is, is he? he? Is, is he? he? Right. The teacher isn't a romantic yeah. boy, is he? Right. Very good. Easy. You're assuming that, right? Because you don't know. Maybe I'm a Romeo. I don't know. So uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, but I've actually, guys, I've actually, right. The the worst things that I've done, guys, were the best thing. I don't know, right? But the one thing that I that I've done, you know, uh, like romantically, would be like creating a song and writing poems <laughs> and playing on, like playing it. You know, playing a song on guitar. That's how ridiculous I've been, you know. So so yeah, you know, it, it we can get to that point. So um okay, so now notice guys, notice that you're giving an opinion right now. It doesn't matter, guys, if you give me a positive sentence or not, just give me an opinion about anything, right? It could be about me or it could be about anything, but give me an opinion. For example, I could say, Oh my In god. It, it, could be, it could be negative or positive. It doesn't matter. Um, the teacher uh, doesn't cut his bird. Bird doesn't trim. Trim, trim. His bird beard. Oh, actually, yeah. that would be beard. The teacher doesn't trim his beard. That question. Does he? Don't Does he? he? Don't? Does he? Okay. Right, does he? Very good. All right, very good, guys. So you can say, guys, you can say uh, flowers are beautiful, right? See, flowers are beautiful. What would be the attack question here? Aren't it? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Right? Aren't they? Uh, Aren't I, could, they? I could say, guys, I could say science, right? Science is something. Um, science is something um yancy is really interested in how would you actually let's make this negative science is not it, something is really interested. 
Is it? Okay. Is, is it? Is Very good. See? Is All right. Is so, it? so notice, okay. Notice, guys, how you can use negative um, sentences, right? And, and negative tag questions or tag questions in general to give your opinion, right? So basically, you're using an opinion and you're adding the tag question, okay? You sure. can do that. You can hold on. Give me one second. You okay. can do that to actually ask for a question, or you can do that to to um, to let people know that you are assuming that that's what you are assuming. Okay, thank you, uh, Walter. Yes. Uh, about intonation. Explaining. Intonation. Intonation. Uh, uh, sometimes I read flowers are beautiful, aren't they? Or say flowers are beautiful, aren't they? Intonation, I don't know. So if if uh, you know the, the the intonation for a question, right? Flowers are okay. beautiful, aren't aren't they? Right, uh, that is okay. a question, right? But if you say flowers are beautiful, aren't they? Right, uh, okay. that is not a question. That is you know, okay. something that you're assuming, right? Science is not something Yasin is really interested in, is it? Right? You mm -hmm. can even be like sarcastic about it. Oh, science is not something Yancy is in, really interested in, is it? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. Right now, why am I, why am I saying is it and not is she? Shouldn't we say is it is she? Because it's science, science. Think about science. <laughs> right, because we're talking about science. Okay. All right, guys. So, any questions so teacher, far? Guys? Tell me. Teacher. Tell me. Um, I have a, a sentence, but I don't know if it it has to do with this. Um, I bought an ice cream for you because I know you enjoy it. You don't? You don't? You don't mm -hmm. is not a tech uh, question. Yeah, but um, that is why I, I want to don't know you? what is it? Don't because you? because in this, Where in, this, in, this, in this opportunity, when we say you don't, or, or no, no, the wolf's done, or something like that, it, you don't, uh, with, a, with exclamatory, uh, um, Sign out, not not with a, a question mark. All right. Yeah, I mean you could say that technically, but that's not a tech question. Admiration. Okay. Admiration. Anyway, anyway, that yeah, was it, it, it's it's mm -hmm. exclamation mark. Yeah, it's with an exclamation or, mark. Like saying, yeah. Or you don't, right? But that's that's not a tech question, right? It does does not you could technically say that, but that's 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 not that's not you know that's not the structure of a tag question, okay? Okay. Um, but um, yeah, so let me see your examples, guys. This is like week of March, is it? No, isn't it? Very good, Amilcar. This is the last class day, doesn't it? And no, this is the last day of class, isn't it? That's how you would say it, uh, Amilcar. Anna and announced we've already studied this subject, mm -hmm. haven't we? We've already studied this subject, haven't we? Yeah, that, that you could say that, right? But anyways, right? We've, um, all right. So now guys, the last thing that we have to talk about here before you get to practice guys, okay? All right, is, um, well, what are, we use, what are the uses of tag questions, okay? The first use guys is to ask for information, all right? To agree with something or for clarification, okay? Right. For example, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for confirmation. Right. Um, I could say dogs are beautiful, aren't they? Right. I'm waiting. I'm asking. Right. So basically, do you confirm? So basically, guys, when I when I when I when I ask when I use a tag question like that, I'm saying, do you confirm, uh, Sandra? Right. Do you confirm that? Can you confirm that dogs are beautiful? That's what I'm saying. Right. For agreement, right? Dogs are beautiful, aren't um, aren't they? Right? Do you agree with me, uh, Evelyn? That dogs are beautiful. That's what I'm saying, right? Or clarification: Dogs are beautiful, aren't they? Right? Like that, right? I'm just clarifying that they are beautiful, right? You can also use it, guys, to indicate surprise or a skepticism. For example, oh sure, um, ice cream is it? Uh, ice cream isn't uh, ice cream is healthy, isn't it? Right now you're 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 being skeptical about it, right? You're being sarcastic, okay? Oh, all right. 
Or guys, we can use it for reducing the directness of, of a statement or a question, all right? So if you don't wanna be too direct about something, you can use a tag question, okay? <laughs> also guys, hey, do you know, do you know, have you ever seen guys a trial? Do you know what a trial is? Like a legal trial? Do you know what that is? A trial? No teacher. No teacher. All right. No teacher. So if you ever go to Las Bartolinas, guys, for some reason, you're going to have a trial, okay? <laughs> a trial, guys. Okay, a trial is when you have, you know, the, the judge. Have you seen those weeks, guys? The weird weeks, right? So you have the, the judge, guys, with... And then this is in the United States, right? With a hammer, right? So there's he's sitting, you know, here. And then they will hit the wooden thing here to, to you know, to uh, declare someone innocent or guilty. Got it? That is a trial. The process of doing that mm -hmm. is a trial where you have a lawyer and, and such. So guys, so when that happens, guys, you have something called leading questions okay do you know what leading questions are not teacher. all right leading questions is like let's say that you are not first of all right do we do we understand what a trial is yes or no the process of being judging all right very good okay the process of being you know uh, legally judged right so anyways mm -hmm. A leading question, guys, okay, something like this, okay? Hey, um, so you were in your apartment on um, April 1st. And what would be the tag question here? You were in your apartment on April 1st. What did you? What did you? you? Right? What did you? you? Okay. All right, so they would say, right, weren't you, right? You were in your apartment on April 1st, weren't you? Okay. Weren't why you? do you think, guys, why do you think that the lawyer or the attorney would say this? Why? <clears throat> why Get do you think this? <laughs> Get information. But, but hold on, why is, okay, so you could ask this question. Were you in your apartment on April 1st? They could ask it like that, right? Yeah. Right? Why are mm -hmm. they not asking it like that? Why are they saying you were in your apartment on April 1st, weren't you? Why? Why do you think that is? Asking information. Yeah. Confirmation. Confirm. Oh, no, guys, guys, we keep thinking no, about because it. Because she touched him. Because, because what? Because uh, on that date, it uh, happened the, uh, maybe the no. uh, mm -hmm. assassinate. No, of anybody talking. No, the that's act. not the reason. No, guys. All right, I'm going to say this in Spanish. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre decir estuvo usted en su apartamento en, en, en abril 1? Mm -hmm. A decir, usted estuvo en su apartamento el, en, en abril 1, sí o no? O, o decir, ¿verdad? Right? Usted estuvo en su apartamento en abril 1, sí? What, what is... Final, yo estoy so, guys, okay, the difference It's is... It's like guys, a affirmation. It's like, I'm accusing them. I'm trying to make them sound guilty. Got it? All right. Mm -hmm. It's different, guys. Mm -hmm. If I ask you, right? If I tell you, you know, hey, vos estás en tu apartamento ayer. ¿Verdad? Versus, estás en tu apartamento ayer. Do you understand the difference? Do you hear the difference? Mm -hmm. Right? Right? Yes. So the difference, guys, is that I am, you know, I'm making, you know, the... The, I'm, I'm making, you know, the person sound guilty, right? That's that's what I want to make them sound, right? I want to make them sound guilty, okay? So anyways, right? So let's scratch that off now, guys, right? The last thing that I'm going to teach about this before we practice, guys, is the following, okay? What happens with imperatives, okay? Yesterday, guys, I told you what imperatives were. What are imperatives? I command. A command, right? Imperatives order. are commands, right? Very good. All right, so let's think about our dear mothers, right? Clean the dishes, right? Now, here, guys, you have a couple of options, okay? So you can follow this. Clean the dishes. Well, you. 
right? Clean the dishes, right? Would you, right? Uh, um, what else? Clean the dishes. Uh, let's see. You? If... Can you? Can you? Can you? You would say, can you? Can we say, can you? Mm, let's see. We, you can say. What is? You can say. Let's see. Will you? Will you? Want you? You can say want you. Now it doesn't matter if it is if the imperative is positive or negative. All right. You can use any of these. Okay. Um. All right. You can say will you? Right. You can say if you use the the only difference is like if you're gonna use let's. Hey, let's uh. Let's uh, eat out, right? Let's eat out, shall we? All mm -hmm. right, you can say that, shall we, right? <clears throat> okay, so this is guys, th this is, this is, sorry, not this, right? This is how guys, how you use imperatives, right? Clean the dishes, okay, give me another imperative here. Do the laundry. I'm sorry, what? Do, do the laundry. Do the laundry, right? Do the laundry. Comma, right? You have to place a comma before the tag question. Do the laundry. Will you? Would you? Do want you? May I teach you? Don't yes. you? No, don't you? No, that's no, no, no. not. I, 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 I got it. Um... No, don't smoke. Don't smoke, right? Don't smoke. Will you? Would you? Want you? All right, very good. Okay. Don't smoke. Will you? Right. Very good. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Jenny, what cook the do? dinner. I right. cook the dinner, right? Yeah. Cook the dinner, right? Will you? Right. Would you? Want you. All right. Very good. Drive the car. All right. Drive the car, drive right? The car. You can say drive, right? Drive the car. Drive the car. Will you? Right? So it is simply as that, guys. Okay. So, well, actually, guys, with imperatives, you don't have to complicate your lives too much. Okay. Easy. May I, teacher? Yes. Yes, please. Well, um, I have the, the example, combine the words to form a sentence. Uh-huh. That's the imperative. Oh, okay, right, very good. Combine. Uh -huh, with, with the scramble words, you know? Uh, combine the words to form a sentence. To form a sentence. Will yeah. you? Okay, yeah, yeah, you can say this. Yes, absolutely, guys, Will okay? You. Now that you know, guys, do me a favor and give me two examples in the chat with imperatives, okay? So give me two examples with imperatives in the chat right now, please. Let's go. Mister, one question. Yes, yes, yes. By, by the way, guys, I don't have anything against Mr. But absolutely nobody, guys, nobody in the world of American English, nobody says Mr., right? Nobody. That, that's something very Salvadorian, actually. Uh, sir? You, say, you say David, or you can say sir, or you can say teacher, or coach, right? Mr. But Navas? Mr. No, Navas? No. Yeah, no. you can say Mr. No. Navas, but that, that makes me sound very old, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, tell me, tell me. Hi. Uh, always you, in a tough question, you always uh, in negative, you use in the negative? No. Do the laundry? Would you? Do, do the laundry? Will you? Would you? Want you? You can use either of them. Either. If either. you want. Uh, similar if you want. No. No, no, it's not. It doesn't mean if you want. No. Lo harás? No, it's, you're not asking. Well, yeah, you can make, you can, yeah. Yeah, it can be a question or it can be just an order, okay? Do the laundry, won't you? 
right? Do, do the laundry, will you? It's like saying, I don't know how to translate it. You should not be translating it, <laughs> all right? It's, it's an imperative. You can ask, you can make it sound like a question. Do the laundry, will you? Will you? No. In this case, guys, okay, when you give an imperative like this, it's like you're making the order more strict, okay? It's like, it's like if you say something like this, you're not asking a question, guys, okay? You're giving an order and you're making it very clear when you say, will you? Do the laundry, will you? Right? Mm -hmm. It's like, just do it, you know? Do it, you have like, to do it. It's a command, yes. Yes, it's, it's a command, yes. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, you can say, drive the car, will you? Right? But that, again, that's an order, right? Uh, don't translate it, guys. I, I honestly don't know how to translate this, right? But I know you have to know what it means, not the translation, right? So it is still, it's still a command, right? But it's uh, to give emphasis on the order, okay? It's to make it sound stronger, if you will. That's the meaning of it, okay? So let's take a look at your examples, guys. Uh, be quiet, would you? Right? So for example, Nick, I, I like that example from Nicole because this will allow me to explain a little bit more about what I just told you. If I said, would be, be quiet, would you? It's like saying, guys, please be quiet, but with a command intonation, got it? This guy's be quiet, would you? This is exactly the same as saying, please be quiet, but like that, with that tone, got it? No, guys, don't translate. <laughs> Stop translating. <laughs> I tell you, do not translate. All right? All right? But if you were to translate it, you would say, Puya, por favor, te podrías callar. Got it? Right? Something, there's no translation, guys, okay? But if you want to understand it like that, okay, that's the oh, closest. Teacher, uh, could be, be quiet, will you? Or won't you? Could be? Yeah, you can use either of them. You can say, okay. be quiet, okay. will you? Okay. Would you, all right? Very good. Uh, do your sh chores, uh, will you? Do the homework, would you? Very good. Take the children to school, will you? <laughs> Very good. Speak English in the class. Where's the tag question, Jenny? I, right, I forget. Good. I forget. Will, will, will you? Will very you? good. Will you, okay? Take a seat, will you? Very good. Uh, that one is very common, guys. Take a seat, will you? Right? Will, will you? Yeah. That that mm -hmm. right there, guys. If you if you say that, like, hey, uh, take a seat, will you? Right? You can say it like that, and that's like saying, please take a seat. Right? Give me that glass of water, would you? All right. Very good, Patricia. Let's go shopping, shall we? Very good, Evelyn. Be on time, will you? Very good, Helen. Patricia, what are the plans? Want? I think you wanted to say, would you? Send the email, will you? Right, please study hard, will you? Uh, now, if you say please, you should not be using attack question generally, okay? So it's study hard, will you? Okay, clean your bedroom, will you? Remember guys, that if you say please, it's a request, not an order, all right? Mm -hmm. Clean your bedroom, will you? Help me understand this, will you? Very good. Stop drinking Coca-Cola, would you? Very good. Sandra, stop bothering your sister, would you? Very good. Try to find, to finish fast, will you? Very good. Come back soon, will you? Stop jump, stop jumping, jumping. Stop jumping on the bed. All right, uh, would you? Very good. Take out the trash, won't you? Right. Cut the grass, will you? Eat healthy, will you? Very good. Good job, guys. You got it. Okay, you got the idea. All right. Very good, guys. Do we have any questions here? Clear as vodka, Petrov, again? Yes. Oh, yes, teacher. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. All right. Yes, sir. Nice Do you want to play, play a game? Yeah. All right. Let's do this as fast as possible, okay? Like, meaning... Try to answer this as fast as possible. I got a game for you, okay? So we're gonna open the box, right? 
So each of these boxes, guys, contains a question or a, 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 a statement, okay? Each of these boxes contains a statement, right? So your job, guys, is to put the tag question on it, okay? All right, sounds good? <laughs> so, all right, so I'm gonna open one and you have to say, you have to, you have to say me teacher and you're gonna give me the answer. Only if you say me teacher. If you don't say me teacher, I'm not going to take your answer, okay? Sounds good? All right, teacher. very good. All right, very good, very good. Okay, so let's get started, right? So let's open, which, which box do you want me to open? Number seven. For number me, la, for me, how do you say it? <laughs> for number seven? I try, yes, number seven. All right, I let's try. go with number seven. It'll be a nice day. We Everybody. Want, want it? You have to say me teacher. Me teacher. <laughs> All right, okay. So, yes. So we got Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Uh, right? I mean, yeah, Jancy, Jancy, you're Jancy. Jancy, go ahead. Okay. Letter D. Want it? All right. Okay. Do you all agree, guys? Is it want it? Yes. All right. Okay. Very good job. Right. It'll be a nice day. It's wanted. Good job. Good job. Uh, Jancy, you have won zero dollars right now. Very good. Awesome. So, <laughs> all right. So next one. Which one do you want? Eight. eight okay let's go with eight okay we often run out of orange juice <clears throat> me teacher me teacher all right go ahead we run out of orange juice um uh -huh. don't we don't we okay don't do we? we do we agree with that guys Yes, that yes. is correct. Thank you very much. You have, you have also won zero dollars, right? Very good. All right. Uh, next oh one. Gosh, what do you want, guys? What do you want? <sighs> next one. I don't do it so much. Next one, next one, next one. Notice, guys, that these are opinions too, right? So which one? Let's go with number one, just because nobody said anything. Mom bought us comics. Me teach you. Me Go ahead, uh, Walter. Uh, didn't she let her see? Didn't she? Very good. Good job, right? Thank you. Thank you very much, right? Let's go with number 12, okay? Uh, they increased the prices. Mm, let's see, Evelyn. What is it, Evelyn? Uh, didn't they let it be? Didn't they? All right, good job. All right, good job. Uh, let's see, Jenny. Right, number eleven. So the bus should come at ten. Should it? Shouldn't it be? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Very good. Good job. All right. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesenia Jamilet. Okay, number mm -hmm. ten. They haven't got any homework. Have they? Have they? Very good. Good job. All right, Jose Luis Cuellar, uh, number nine. We're going to a museum. Aren't we? Aren't we? Very good. Aren't we? Very good. Nicole Saoleta. All right, very good, guys. Okay, number six. The first lesson is English. Isn't it? Isn't it? Good job. All right. Very good. Uh, Catherine Sanchez, number five. Sophie hasn't taken the dog or, or a walk. For a walk. I'm sorry. For a walk. I think. The B. Has she? Has she? Okay. Has she? Very good. Good job. I like that. Thank you. All right. Uh, number four. Now, you volunteer yourself, guys, okay? Isaac and Toby won't do their homework. Will they one day? They want, they will. <clears throat> Me to chair. Go ahead. Will they? Letter A. Will they? Very good. Good job, right? I think you guys are experts now, right? Number three, 
Paul usually helps his dad who wants to do this one. Hmm. What? Letter C. Letter C, very good, good job, okay. All right, then number two, I'm wasting a lot of time. What about this? Hey, teacher. Go ahead. Um, let us see. All right. All right. Very good. Good job. You remember that. Okay, good job, guys. Applause for you. You have won nothing. Now, you have won a lot of knowledge, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you won a lot of knowledge, guys, okay? Thank you guys, all right? Any questions, guys? Questions, questions, how much, questions? How much did we earn in, in dollars? <laughs> how much? Uh, zero, 0. 0, right? <laughs> zero point. All right. Anyways, guys, yes, so, all right, so guys, I, I do have, we're not gonna do that again. Hey, I, I, I have, tell me. I'm sorry, I don't understand the, the last question. I am wasting, I don't know, remember? The answer is, aren't you? Uh, uh, I don't understand that. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, I who can I, I explained that yesterday, guys? So who wants to explain that to Walter? So, uh, yo, yesterday okay. I couldn't attend a class. Sorry. Oh, oh okay. So that's <laughs> it. That's it's exception. 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 Ah. I'm yeah. wasting a, a lot of time, and the answer is I didn't I because yeah. it's a exception. So for example, I, I am, right? I am wasting a lot of time. So the thing is this, okay? How can you say there's no construction for, for I am, see like, I, I, right? I, I, you cannot say that, right? This doesn't exist. So this is an exception. You're gonna say, aren't I? I'm wasting a lot of time, aren't I, right? Uh, okay. You can say, I am a good player, right? Aren't I? Okay, I got it. Right? I got it. It's Thank because you. of the contraction. However, there is a formal, but, but I mean, nobody uses this, okay? But you could technically say, I am, you know, I am a good player. Am I not, right? But this is like, if you're talking or writing a letter to, to the king of England, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, but otherwise you have to use R and I. Okay, good okay. question. Good question. Right, okay. very good. Any any other question, guys? Yes, teacher. I have heard that uh, some people with slang English they say "ain't I." Yeah, but that's a slang. You, yeah, oh, yeah, they would say "ain't mm -hmm. it, ain't it, ain't I." Right, but that's a slang. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's basically, they I mean. substitute the the auxiliary is for "ain't." Right. But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other question, guys? Okay. All right, very good. So, guys, let's uh let's have a conversation practice, okay? So we have I have some topics for you here, right? Um, so we we have time for we have time for two, okay? So I want you guys to either talk. You can even talk just for about one, but I need, I need to make it a long conversation, right? So the topic guys is gonna be travel or food, okay? Or travel and food, all right? So you, as a student, the first student, right? You can say, hey, you traveled to many countries before, haven't you? And you will say, no, I haven't, or yes, I have, you know? I've traveled to, and you give a long answer, got it? And then you continue guys, right? With the next topic, which would be, right? You can talk about food or hobbies, right? The point, guys, the point is that you give a long answer, okay? Sounds good? All Sounds right. good. And if I am in your room, I'll give you feedback, okay? So uh, just write this down in your notebook, just, you know, the topic, right? Travel, food, and hobbies, okay? Just three, travel, food, and hobbies. All right, you got that? Yes. All right, so then let's let's go, let's go, you know? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go.
about food. About food. Okay. You have trade is um taste. Um garrobo food. <laughs> Yeah, have you tasted or oh well you have you have you have tasted right because you're asking that you're doing that you have uh, tasted the garrobo the garrobo food haven't you lizard <laughs> there's a lizard <laughs> <laughs> well no i haven't um you have tasted lizard haven't you good job, uh, good job. what what food do you say? I mean, lizard, carro. Lizard. Ah, uh -uh, the same is carro. Yes. No. No, I I don't have. I I don't have. It. I no I no it. no I haven't. No, no I haven't. I never eat that. <laughs> I don't like. It. All right, all right. Okay. Very good. I I bet you like pizza. Don't you? Mm, yes, I. I. <laughs> I really like. Um. Oh, hello, okay. Hi, Sandra. Hi. <laughs> hello. 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 We were oh my God! I I didn't see anybody, and that's why I I was. Quiet. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, uh, we were we going to share about food. About food. Okay. Tell me, what's your favorite food? And we were talking well, about Salvador Salvadorian, or oh, typical Salvadorian food. And uh, Yesenia, she was talking about her favorite Salvadorian food that was pupusas. <laughs> I think every oh. every Salvadorian loves uh, love pupusas. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say that in English. Atal Shuk, but that's the <laughs> name. That's the name, yeah, of course. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, by the way, well, I don't I don't like uh Atol Shuko. Uh, maybe because it's too don't? salty. <laughs> why don't? I, I don't like salty food. I um uh I I I enjoy more uh tasting sweet food like uh, uh, uh sweet uh, food. Torrejas, now that. Oh, those are <laughs> delicious too. Yeah. Also, Nuegados. Nuegados, ah, yeah, they are delicious, but I mm -hmm. think that the, the procedure there is a little bit uh, long. Oh, long. <laughs> yeah. And the ingredients sometimes that are hard to get. Oh, yes, the yaka. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yaka. I, I have uh, yaka. Yaka. Well, mm -hmm. I, I didn't I didn't know how to pronounce that word yaka. Yaka. Yes, it's Y U C Z A, right? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey teacher, you could have my inspiration. <laughs> yes. What See, is what what thank you, Patricia? You, what inspiration <laughs> did you have? <laughs> all right, very good. That's funny, guys. Guys, um, are we all back here? Because I got important news for you guys. All right. Um, uh, I got important news for you. I am going to get married. No, I'm kidding, guys. That's not the news. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> sorry. No, not, I'm sorry for that's you. That's not. I'm, yeah, I'm no, sorry. I know. No, no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. Welcome to the team. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, uh, the news, guys, okay, the news is that uh, we're not going to have a class next week, right? So okay. we're not going to have the class. Well, no, no, no. They, we're not going to have a, a class um um then in the next week at all okay so we're gonna come back until the 10th of april and we're gonna finish mm -hmm. until the 13th okay enjoy your vacation guys uh please don't drink and if you do invite me okay <laughs> yes <laughs> of course of course teacher <laughs> <Coca -Cola> teacher <laughs>
All right, very good. Take care, guys. No one's here. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.